Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to Good Home. I am so excited to be back with you guys. I've missed you. I've been working outside so much in my garden that I've totally let my house um, sort of take a back seat to uh, what I've got going on outside. So I thought today would be fun to take you on a little tour of what I've been collecting. Um, I, I think you guys know I like to shop by color. I get overwhelmed in the store and I tend to overspend and as someone who definitely likes to keep a tight budget, I hate overspending. I hate getting something home and then finding out that I don't actually love it or it doesn't quite work in my um, home decor. So. Shopping by color has been very helpful for me um, because it allows me to kind of scan the aisle before I go down. Um, and if I see something that matches the color scheme, um, I'll go down that aisle and take a look at it. And that has seemed to work very well for me. I've got a conglomeration of things here that fit my yellow scheme that I'm going with this summer. Very excited to keep things light and fresh and clean um, and kind of moving away from the dark uh, colors that I usually use in the summer usually go with patriotic red white blue that sort of thing um, I don't know I just kind of felt like I wanted something fresh and light so yellow it is so let's take a look at what we've got um, I've got a couple of items that are new most of these were thrifted but one or two of them I'll include the links below if you're interested in seeing if you can find one um, for your house this was $2.98 at Goodwill and this is something that I'm probably going to be working into my summer kitchen. I um, love the idea of having some lemons in there so I think that'll be super cute. Great price. Um, I love to keep uh, my eye out for mugs. All year long I keep an eye out for mugs that fit whatever color scheme that I am going to go for. Um, these were both Goodwill finds. I want to say they were $1.98 but I don't have the tags anymore for these um, but I did find these at Goodwill um, these are uh, yellow they got a little bit of blue I think that's gonna work though not a problem it'll work right in and these were a dollar 18 at Goodwill so that was a nice find and I do have three of those along with the matching plate um, that I picked up at Goodwill and just um, for the record, I love to collect ironstone. I know a lot of you guys collect ironstone, um, so I'm always on the lookout for something that would fit that collection as well. So we've got these plates and mugs. I'm gonna be working those in. Um, I picked up these placemats. The polka dot was so cute. They came in a set of four. Um, they were $2.98 for the set but I was not able to get the stains out. If you guys have any ideas on how I can get these stains out, let me know. Um, if I can't get the stains out, I'll probably end up just using them in a different way. Um, but I got four of those. This was an item that I have had for a really long time. I picked it up at Goodwill um, years ago uh, when I was doing sort of the uh, Tuscan look and uh, that doesn't quite fit the bill anymore. I'm kind of looking for more cottage items, so I usually just flip it around. But this was a couple of years ago. I want to say it was $1.18 back then, but it is, it's pretty heavy. It's, it's uh, maybe pottery. I'm, I'm not exactly sure what it is. It looks like it was uh, pottery. Now, you guys saw these in a previous video. These were from Goodwill. They're $1.18, and these were... Um, these were actually an item that I was really excited to find, but I wasn't quite sure where I would put them. I don't have a lot of yellow. Well, at least I didn't when I made the video previously. I think these were my jumping off point. Um, I just really love the kind of summery look of them. They're, they're, they're heavy and they're really good pots. So um, I think this is where the idea for wanting the yellow came in. So I got those at Goodwill for $1.18 each. Now this little basket is something that I could use year round. Um, I paid $1.18, it was originally a Christmas thing. It had like a Christmas um, emblem glued onto it. So I just took that off and did the best I could to remove the, the look of the Christmas item. Um, this is just that little purple succulent that I tend to use everywhere. But um, I just like the, the natural look. Every once in a while I love to work wicker in, so not sure where this is gonna go, but I think this will kind of enhance the yellow and kind of bring a natural earthy feel to things. Okay, now these were an Amazon find. If I can find the link, I will include that below. Um, up close, they don't look too wonderful. If you want my honest opinion, they look sort of fake. Um, but from far away, which is, uh, I'll probably have them up on my fireplace. From far away, I think that they will do just fine. They were very inexpensive and I got a bunch of them. So sometimes, you know, you have to sacrifice a little bit to save money, but I think in the long run, this is gonna be just fine for my summer decorations.
This was another Amazon find, and you guys, I love to thrift um, pictures, but storing them, especially with the number of pictures that I buy for the seasons, the picture frames are clunky, the glass gets broken, it's just really a hassle. So when I saw this on Amazon, I thought it was great because it's a really thin metal sign, um, but it's got a little bit of a retro look to it, and um, it's super lightweight, so it'll be easy to store, and um, it won't break. So... Uh, I think I'm really excited to figure out a place to use this. Okay, now this was a Hobby Lobby find. Um, this one was, let's see here, $14.99 originally. I did get it half price. Um, this was a while ago. I don't know if this is still in store. Um, check out the website if, you, uh, if you're interested in finding this. It was a pretty good deal at half price. I don't think I would have paid $14.99 for something this size. Um, no, I wouldn't have paid full price for it, but I like the watercolor, um, and it's definitely got the color that I'm going for, and I think it'll look cute in my kitchen. So you guys, books are a great thing to decorate with. I actually used quite a bit of these in my spring. Oh, look at that. That is definitely the wrong color. That's fine. Just flip it over. It's not a big deal, <laughs> but I definitely used a lot of these, um, the greens in my spring, but they'll, they'll kind of work in the summer coloring as well. So I've got a couple of old green books. And then I have a few more books here, some yellows and some greens. You guys, um, my favorite books of all time um, are Old Yeller, which I've had this one for years, one of my favorites, and then Where the Red Fern Grows. Did you guys read that one? It totally wrecked me. Um, I cried for days. Every time I thought about the ending of that book, I just cried my eyes out. Let me know if you read that one um, in the comments down below. But uh, another little bit of stack of books here that kind of match the color scheme. And you can kind of see over on that side over there, I've got some more books. So I'm going to work these all in. I'm not sure where. So this one was $2.98 at Goodwill. And um, it's got some really pretty coloring. It was originally a Target find, I think. Um, kind of has a modern ceramic pot. But um, the, the dots, I don't know if you can see that, but the dots have a yellow tint to them. So they're definitely going to go well in the uh, color scheme this year. Okay guys, so um, a candle snuffer. Yep, gotta work one of these in, and it was a dollar, and the color is just right, so we'll figure out a place for this candle snuffer. So sometimes I buy candles for what they smell like, and sometimes I buy them for what they look like. This is a case of the, I liked the color gold with the white kind of frosted look. I think this will look pretty. Um, this one actually has pink on the other side, but that's totally fine, I'll just flip it around, and it does smell good. I've definitely used a bunch of this already. Okay, we've got some yellow hand towels. Um, this is a very cheap way to add color into your kitchen if you're not sure about what you wanna buy or if you're just not looking to spend a ton of money. Um, you can usually find a set of three hand towels at Hobby Lobby or Target for, I don't know, six or seven dollars and you've got three different looks so you could work these in together or separately but bring a little bit of a pop of color into your kitchen. Now this beautiful floral arrangement really kind of had me stumped when I bought it um, for a couple of reasons. I wasn't sure how I wanted to use the color scheme because it really didn't match what I had going on when I purchased it. But the other thing that was weird to me was no stem. Uh, just this styrofoam ball underneath. I have no experience with this item. I'm not sure where I'm going to put this. Um, but it was originally, I mean, somebody really spent a decent amount of money for this item, $49.99 originally at Hobby Lobby, but of course I only paid $3.98 because that's how I roll. So this item you've seen also in a previous video, but the color green was perfect and I love bringing in an earthy look. These little white berries um, will kind of tie in with the summer green, white, and yellow theme. And of course the terracotta pot that I had done a video um, back in the winter about how to age your terracotta pots. If you didn't see that, I will include a link to that video below if you're interested in taking a look. It is super easy and it's a great project for kids. So uh, if you're looking for a fun summertime project, this might be the one for you. So guys, let's talk about pillows. This pillow cover I got off of Amazon. Pillow covers are a great way to save money on your decor, but also save space. I hate storing pillows. I don't know if you guys are like me, but I don't have a lot of room. My house is pretty small. So um, these pillow covers are a great way to just reuse pillows that you already had. Um, and this one fit the color scheme that I had perfectly. So I'm gonna work these yellow lemons in somewhere. This one is a Goodwill find. It was $2.98. This is not a pillow cover. Unfortunately, I gotta store this pillow when I'm done with it, or maybe just cover it up with a pillow cover that matches my next season. Um, but this one was $2.98. And then this one also $2.98 from Goodwill. Um, not sure where I'm gonna use this lumbar pillow. 
Um, this is actually an outdoor pillow and I'll probably end up flipping it if I use it outside on my porch. Um, very appropriate for Florida. We have hit the summer sunshine, so definitely was happy to see a pillow that sort of reminded me of what was to come this summer. So guys, this is a metal ice bucket that I found at Goodwill. It was $1.98, and I love the yellow and white gingham. So I'm gonna be working this in in my living room. I think I have an idea of where I wanna put this, um, but for $1.98, you cannot go wrong. This one was a super fun find. Okay guys, we're getting to the end of the thrift haul. This one is a green stoneware pitcher. Um, I picked this up at Goodwill. It was $3.98, and I've had it for quite some time. So this tag has faded. I don't know, do you guys keep your thrifted tags on so that you remember how much you spent on things? I do. Let me know in the comments below if that's something that you do. Um, I just really enjoy taking a look back at things that I had saved money on in the past, but this one was a fun one. I'm probably gonna work this into the kitchen with the lemon theme, um, but I really like the color green on this. Yes, more books. Can't go wrong with books. Books, books everywhere. So I wanted to show you guys this one because this basket I've actually had for a very long time. I usually keep this on top of my refrigerator and this, the white flowers, they usually just kind of stay. They're the staple. But I picked these um, stems up at Goodwill. These were $2.98 for a giant bunch. And I just sort of worked the yellow into the colors that I've already got going on. Um, that way I didn't need to find a completely different floral arrangement. Um, but the yellow up top of my refrigerator I think is gonna bring the eye up. So I'm looking forward to working these in and they kind of do blend pretty nicely with the flowers that are already in the basket. So guys, that's gonna do it for the thrift haul for the summer decorating season. Um, if you like the idea of shopping by color, let me know in the comments down below if you think this will work for you or maybe if you do this already. I have found that this is a great way to save money, um, to save time, and um, find some items that really look nice together. You can usually tell once you get all your colors in your cart if they work well together before you get to the register. So let me know how your summer planning is going. What have you guys been up to? It's been a while, so I look forward to, to hearing from you guys. I will see you in the next one, and until then, stay well and make it a good home. Bye-bye.